Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, today is going to be a bit of a interesting thing because I don't normally make videos on this kind of stuff, uh, but I'm going to give it a try because it's fun and I enjoy making videos. So here it is. I don't quite know what's going to be in this video just yet because I'm filming it before I've done anything. But basically, I'm going to Scotland. I'm going on a trip up to Scotland for a couple of days, um, and I'm going to be doing some biking while I'm up there. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to include in this yet, but straight up right now, before I even go, I've got some stuff I need to sort on my bike and get ready to go. So I'm going to quickly sort some stuff on my bike and yeah, get everything sorted for that. So let's crack on with that. So I've got the bike in the stand um, here. I'm going to go and do a bolt check on everything, make sure everything's tight. <laughs> You probably didn't see that on the time lapse, but I just sheared off the bolt in my steerer tube. And the bolt is in there. How have I done that? That's quite impressive actually. So yeah, I've got this Hope Top Cap and this Hope Top Cap bolt and it's just, it's snapped in and it's stuck in my, it's stuck in here. But yeah, it's actually sheared off in there. It wasn't even that tight. That was the thing. Like it was, it, it wasn't tight enough. So I was tightening up a bit more because it wasn't very tight at all. Huh. Yeah, that's not ideal. I'm going to get that sorted quickly. So luckily I managed to get it out without too much. Luckily this wasn't in too tight, so I managed to just spin it out on my finger. Uh, so I'm gonna have to use this top cap instead, which isn't the end of the world. Luckily that wasn't a problem. I thought that was gonna be a problem, but it wasn't. So that's good. So yeah, that's all the bolts done now. Uh, I just need to put the top cap back in. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna put a mud guard on as well. I think I'm gonna do that next. Mud guard next, and then I'll check my tires and stuff. And then that's pretty much everything. And then I'm ready to go, so yeah. Should be sorted. Yeah, it looks super cool. Now I'm just gonna throw this uh, Bergtech fender on the front. I might keep a bit of the mud out my face, so. Mud guards on. Uh, now it's just time to... Uh... Yep, so that's the mud guard in. Um, all the cables cut and everything, so now I've gotta put the wheel back in. So, there we are, all ready to go. I think I'm setting off tomorrow, so yeah, let's, let's crack on with that, I guess, and we'll, we'll see where we end up. So, we made it, um, all the way up to Scotland, we're in the Highlands. Stayed at my granddad's house, so we've got all the, the woods behind me and everything. So, there's a bit here, uh, I don't know how you can see it, there it is, um, which is basically a hole where a tree has fallen, and I think I can jump over it. Um, I'll spin the camera around and I'll explain it a bit better. So this is the this is the hole. It doesn't look too massive on camera, but uh, yeah, I reckon we can land there and take off from up there. So we've done a little bit, not loads. There is a rock right here, unfortunately, which is really annoying. Um, like here, there's a rock here. So we've got a bit of a rut down the middle, but hopefully that shouldn't be too much of an issue. But now I just have to clear it out a bit further over there. Uh, so we've got a bit of a runoff because from there to here is not that, you're not gonna stop in that, are you? So I'm gonna make it run off down there and I think I'm gonna make it turn left at the bottom there where it's like where my finger is, where it's flat. So hopefully that should work. So I finished the berm, um, it looks 
pretty good. I'm gonna go test it now. Um, and I've also finished the rest of the landing all the way down to here as well. So it should kind of spit you out here onto this stretch here. So it's gonna come from up there and then it's gonna go down and round and out over that way is the plan. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my bike and I'm gonna give this a test and then um, and then we'll move on to doing the, uh, the lip to actually make it work, so see how it goes. So I've got my bike, um, I'm gonna give it a quick run. Um, I'm still in my walking boots, so we'll see how it goes. I did a few test runs. My boots that I've got on are absolutely atrocious for running my bike. No grip at all, it's terrifying. But what I need to do is on the berm is I need to clear up the inside to take it a bit more insidey. I'm gonna dig it out a little bit deeper as well. I think I'm gonna shallow it out so it's not quite as much of a 90 degree. It's gonna be, I don't know, a bit more shallow, less tight of a berm. So hopefully that should help. So it's been a couple of days since I did the landing here. So it's a bit over, well, I'm not overgrown, but it's a bit covered in pine needles and stuff. So I'll have to clear that off. But today I think is gonna be my last chance I'm gonna to get to actually make this and ride it. So I need to work on the takeoff, which is what I'm gonna do now. It's gonna go all up here. So I'm gonna crack on with that. We just had a pretty big crash. I thought I'd go and test it. Uh, it doesn't work um, at all. The run up is just all up here. The run up is just not smooth enough whatsoever, um, which isn't ideal. Pretty big over the bars, kind of got folded. I'll put the clip into that now. But yeah, no. Yeah. Pretty big. Pretty big over the bars. Not ideal. Um, not too, didn't hurt me too bad, so that's all right. But I'm not too keen on trying it again because I think I'm going to have to do a bunch of work to here um, to make it work. So, because this run up is just not straight enough. It's not, it's too rough. Like, I need to smooth it out and everything because I just couldn't, I just didn't have the speed for it. Uh, was the main problem, but uh, yeah. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get another chance to work on this at the moment. So unfortunately, I think this is going to be it for now. Uh, but I'm definitely going to come back the next time I'm on holiday and I'll come back and have another crack at this. And I will, I'll, I'll make it work next time. I'll make it work. But uh, yeah, no, I think that's all. Uh, didn't, didn't work out great, but hey, it is what it is. So uh, it's good fun building it. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, slightly different, a bit stupid, but hey. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff if you want to. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.